Today we're gonna to be touring our brand new cow barns here. This is our parlor barn and the one back there is our cow barn, that's where they live. And this is where we milk them. Cows went in that barn December 5th of 2018 and the first time we milked cows in our new parlor in this barn here was May 21st of this year. So everything's still really new, super shiny, super clean. But before we get into the tour, I'm gonna to show you guys some drone shots of when the, this thing was getting built. Um, some trusses flying, some framing going on. Enjoy. So this is the front of the parlor barn here. Um, we got some stripped logs and a little bit of an overhang built there with some pine wood underneath it all. Some chipped wood on the walls, it looks pretty nice. We basically told the guy who built this barn to try and make the front look nice and he did this, so. This is stamped concrete, so it kind of looks like it's got a wood pattern in it. And it kind of curves around the edge of the barn. Some chairs here for the summertime, it's super nice. Way too cold now though. So when you just walk into the barn, you can see the parlor right there. In here is some offices and a lunchroom, bathroom, stuff like that. We'll start by going over the parlor here. This is our double 12 De Laval milk parlor. It's a uh, De Laval champion and it's a parallel milk parlor. So the cows all stand beside each other. And it's also got these automatic dipping and flush milk claws in it. It's full stainless steel. We got this rubberized floor in it. It's nice and soft to walk on. The floor is also heated. So it's nice and warm in the winter time. There's a bunch of lights on top, LED lights. So when you're working on this side, the lights kind of shine from there and you can see the cow really good. This is the holding area. Holds about 120 cows. And then the cows just walk in through here into the milking parlor. The cows would be standing in there while they get milked. This thing lifts up when they're done being milked they walk out here and then they go back to their barn down that return alley there. It's six feet wide, two cows can walk beside each other. Underneath this metal here, there's a valve there. It opens up and a bunch of water comes down and flushes all the crap all the way down out the back of the holding area there. So when the first cow enters the parlor, she walks down and she turns into this sequencing gate, pushes it, opens it up for the next cow and she stands there her butt hangs over this pan, so if they crap or pee, it's gonna be in this pan so we don't get it on our milkers or anything like that. This thing hanging over top of my head right here is a crowd gate. This part of the crowd gate comes all the way down, about a foot off the ground, and it pushes the cows all the way up into the milk parlor. We have a button in there, and we can press and it slowly comes forward. The cows come in from the cow barn over here. There's a link between the two barns.
This is in the basement directly below the milking parlor. This is where we have all of our milk meters. So as the milk flows out of the cow through the cluster and down into the basement, it comes through here. This measures how much milk, so how many liters she produces. Then it goes into this line. All of them dump into here. It comes all the way around to the receiver jar here. And it gets collected in here. And once this thing fills up, which does not take long at all, this is the milk pump here, pumps it up to the milk tank. This is a milk filter. So all the milk gets filtered. And this is a plate cooler right here. Every second one has water flowing through it, cold water. And then all the other ones have milk going through it. So this instantly cools the milk down maybe 25 degrees Celsius. So just off of that, we go into this hallway here. And this is kind of our main office. It's got the herd management computer in it. This is our lunchroom in here. Got some cream in the fridge there, a coffee machine. You can sit down and have a coffee whenever you want. The washroom. We've got a shower as well. And then this is our change room. Employees can come in here, clock in, get changed and then go to work. And the last room to the left here is the washer and dryer room. We basically just use this room to wash the milk towels down. And then at the end of the hallway here, we have our calf kitchen. This isn't 100% complete yet, as well as our calf barns, they're still under construction. But in the future, milk will be pumped from the parlor into this pasteurizer. It'll get pasteurized, and then it'll go into our milk taxi here. This is actually an electric little cart, keeps the milk at a perfect temperature. At the back of the calf room here, this is where we can see if anyone's calving. This is our maternity pack right here. These are our two straw packs we have in the barn. They're just behind our parlor right there in the holding area. And basically we melt cows off of this one. If they're a little bit sore, or a little bit sick, we can keep a better eye on them. Special needs cows. And we can just keep a really good eye on them. And they get the same feed as in the cow barn. And on this side of the barn, this is our maternity pack. So these ladies are ready to calve any moment now. We try to put them in here for three weeks before they calve. This area here is directly behind the holding area. This is a palpation rail. So we can chase up to seven cows in this little area here. They'll all stand staggered. And we use that post there, click it into one of the blue clamps and kind of hook behind this one right here. And we can perform some herd management or herd health on them right here. This is our hoof trim stall right here. Uh, we can do a little bit more fine work on the cows, you know, crank their hooves up if we need to hoof trim them or uh, keep them a little bit more still if they need surgery done or something. This right here is our sort gate system. After the cows are milked, every single one of them has to walk through here to get back to their cow barn. There's an ID reader in that big silver box there and we can basically click a cow's number in the computer and it'll sort them out. So if we want to do some work on a couple of cows, we can do that. It'll automatically sort them out. And then we can either put them into that palpation rail or the hoof trim stall. This is the first manure pump in the barn here. This is for the parlor area. It flushes the whole holding area and those two decks I was talking about on top, the water comes from this pump. All the wash water goes into here, so it keeps it super thin. We are back in the front of the barn here, just on the other side. And this is where our milk tank is. This thing holds 8,000 gallons or just over 30,000 liters of milk. And if we go through this door right here, this is the other part of the milk tank. Just comes through this wall here. This is the vacuum pump for the milk parlor. So that's what creates the, the vacuum that sucks the milk out of the cow's teats. And the, these are some air compressors, air dryer. And this is basically all of the chemical stuff for washing the parlor. It's automatically dispensed into this vat right here. This thing just mixes up all the soap and the water that runs through all the lines that move milk around. So everything stays super clean.
This is the water and electrical room. We have a well on our yard here, actually a couple, and we have super high iron in the water. So this system just takes out the iron and we end up with nice clean water for the wash cycle, most importantly. And these are all the breakers for the parlor barn here. We also have floor heat in this barn, all those offices, the parlor floor, the milk tank room, and even this room, they're all floor heated. So this is that system that does that. This is that control box for the first manure pump we looked at. And this is the ventilation controller for this parlor barn. This is our vet room. So all of the medicine that we have for the cows, all of the vaccines, even the artificial insemination stuff is right there. And we also have a herd management computer in the back there as well. This is our main cow barn where the entire milk herd lives. The center drive through here, it's a four row barn, meaning there's four rows of beds that go all the way to the back of this barn. Two groups in here, each group has two rows in it. And I believe each group has 128 beds in it. The self lockers in this barn and the beds are all Artex. We built this barn with a lot of windows along the walls. This just makes it so that there's a lot of natural lighting in here, but we do got a ton of LED lights in this barn as well, which keep it super bright. This is our Laylee feed pusher. It just goes up and down the barn and pushes the feed up. Parks all the way at the front of the barn and just to the right. really focused on cow comfort in this barn. Sand bedding, the super wide feed alleys, the ventilation that keeps the air in here at a perfect temperature all the time. It's all for cow comfort. And basically the more comfortable your cows are, the more they're gonna produce. And they're also gonna live a better life. When someone's milking in the milk parlor, someone always comes back here to scrape the crap out of this barn. They start by clicking this button, which starts the recirculation on this pump. There's three places it can pump. Two go out to the manure pit and one is at, all the way at the other end of this slot here and it just circulates the manure back and forth. And so we can push the manure into this slot and then it comes into this big reservoir right here. It can hold maybe two or three days worth of manure and then it gets pumped out to the big manure pit. This is the skid steer that we use to scrape the crap out of those alleys. And we use this one to scrape the feed alley. So there's basically a clean skid steer and a dirty one. We got some box scrapers a rake for the beds and a bucket for the sand back here. This is the sand room. We can fit enough in here for a whole winter. And then that's the door so we can drive in here and fill it up with sand. These doors can have issues sometimes in the winter freezing up with ice. So right in the concrete by all the doors, it's warm because we have heat elements in the concrete. This just keeps the doors from freezing solid to the concrete. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and check out the rest of my YouTube channel. I got a bunch of videos on there of stuff we do around the farm. Thanks for watching as always and see you later.